IRS COVID penalty relief deadlines. Welcome back everyone. So happy to have you back for another breaking IRS news alerts and updates. Make sure you're watching till the very, very end. This information is being shared from irs.gov. Type in the search news and it will take you directly to their newsroom for all of the most recent updates. Now, the deadline to file 2019 and 2020 tax returns to get the COVID penalty relief postpone disaster areas, all right? Areas with a deadline of November 15, 2022 are Missouri, Kentucky, St. Croix, and Tribal Nation. Areas with a deadline of February 15, 2023 is Florida, Puerto Rico, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alaska, and Mississippi. The relief under notice 2022-36 applies to the failure to file uh, a penalty that is typically uh, assessed at a rate of 5% per month up to 25% of the unpaid tax when a federal income tax return is filed late. Now, this relief applies to forms in both the Form 1040 and 1120 series, as well as others, and you can find the others uh, on the irs.gov website under the update, all right? You can click on that PDF you see there, notice 2022-36 for the others. Now, unlike the failure to file penalty, the failure to pay penalty and interest will still apply to any unpaid tax. The failure to pay penalty is normally 0.5% one half of 1% per month up to 25%. The interest rate is currently 6% compound daily. And remember the IRS is also paying interest for uh, the tax returns that they are processing late. For all of you that are waiting way behind, beyond the uh, 120 days that your return is still being processed, the IRS will be paying you interest at a 6% compound daily. Now, the penalty relief for 2019 and 2020 returns is not available in some situations, such as where a fraudulent return was filed, where the penalties are part of an accepted offer and compromise or a closing agreement, or where the penalties were finally determined by court. This relief is limited to the penalties that the notice specifically states are eligible for relief. For ineligible penalties, such as failure to pay penalty, taxpayers may use existing penalty relief procedures, such as applying for relief under uh, the reasonable cause criteria or the first time abate program. And you can find those programs at irs.gov slash penalty relief for more details. All right. Again, you can find this update on the irs.gov uh, newsroom. Now, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and come back for all of the information that matters to you most. I am doing the research, so you do not have to. And I will see every one of you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.